Getty Guatemala's President Jimmy Morales has denied his government rejected help from other countries Mr. Morales has declared three days of mourning in torch shelters in the disaster area. The president clarified his government did not reject help from sister nations and pleaded with Guatemalans and the media to work together after Vulcan de Fuego devastated the country. He said, Guatemala and its government are not rejecting any kind of help that sister nations have offered us. I think it's really incredible and irresponsible that there are groups that continue to fuel the division and the discomfort among Guatemalans, raising all this false information and taking advantage of the population sentiment to continue sowing hatred and confrontation between brothers. He told Guatemalans not to be, not be fooled and, please, just follow the information of official institutions and widely recognized media. He added, Guatemala is going through very difficult times and only together we will move forward. The number of people missing remains unclear but at least 62 have been killed, according to officials. As the president left the buried village of El Rodeo during his tour of areas affected, one woman said, Mr. President, my family is missing. Send a helicopter to drop water from above because it is burning there. I have three children, a grandchild, all my brothers and sisters, my mother, more than 20 are missing. Rescue workers waded through layers of ash which reached knee-deep in places, only to find charred remains of those who had been unable to flee the molten rock. Otto Mazariegos, president of the Association of Municipal and Departmental Firefighters said, We saw bodies totally, totally buried, like you saw in Pompeii. Getty Jimmy Morales declared three days of mourning. Mr. Mazariegos said the death toll was expected to rise, probably in the hundreds. Vocan de Fuego, which is situated less than 30 miles from Guatemala City, has been erupting since 2002. More than 3,000 people were evacuated, with 1,689 finding space in shelters in the towns of Esquintla and Alatenango, according to officials. A total of 46 people were hospitalized, with some having severe burns. Yet high the number of people missing remains unclear but at least 62 have been killed.